always been lovely because it's thrown up so many things I didn't know about people. I think people have made more friends during the, this period that we've had and we talk to each other and we find out things about each other. Well, it's important to talk to, to people who see the world completely differently and because um, it's changed so much. So you kind of get a different outlook on the world. It was, it was really nice just connecting with someone. My name is Sarah. Together with Lucy and Marissa, we developed the Everyday Creativity Project in lockdown. This was a project working in conjunction with activity coordinators in care homes to inspire residents and improve their well-being through creative activities. It was soon evident that the residents had lots of stories to tell and this prompted us to seek funding with Sussex Housing and Care to allow more residents' voices to be heard. We invited the students to participate and interview the residents to capture their stories. By having an intergenerational element, it brought a new energy to the project. We were keen for the students to develop their communication and listening skills with the residents. It was inevitable that there would be times when partners may have felt awkward, but they all rose to the challenge brilliantly. And they, you know, they're interested in what I did and everything. I think I really enjoyed getting to know Harold. It was um, very interesting hearing about how the generations differ, how it was back then compared to it now. I think I'll take away to appreciate a lot of what I have. For example, from five years from now, I'd be, I'd be having to doing national service and sort of appreciating that I don't have to go through that. Residents at Saxonwood have been really excited to see the students each week at their visits. It's been fantastic to see the, the relationships and the bonds growing between the young and older people. Um, and throughout the project, we've seen some incredible photos, memorabilia and heard some amazing life stories of all the achievements our wonderful residents have experienced in their lives. And it's really been fantastic to, um, to capture these and put them into film as an incredible memento and um, a really impressive piece of social history that we can share with families and friends um, and the wider community. Um, it's an incredible intergenerational project that's had a huge impact across the board on everyone who's been involved and we're very proud of everything we've achieved. Well, it's nice to socialise with the people and it gives you much more confidence. She's a nice girl and uh, I've had some interesting conversations. I really enjoyed talking to Jo and I enjoyed meeting new people. And I've enjoyed every minute with Eli because we've got quite a bit in common and, and he's very, very interesting to talk to because he does love singing. I said, maybe we'll see him on the West End. <laughs> well, I really like getting to know Gail, especially because Gail taught at Claverham. That is really interesting to get to know her, hear about like what Claverham was like when she was teaching and how it's changed. I just definitely recommend this. It was so much, so much, so much fun, and I'd love to do it ever again if I could get the chance to. I should get to know my grandparents better and try and um, pay more attention to the stories that they tell me because they're very interesting and I shouldn't stare at my phone when, I'm, when, I, when they're talking to me because it's useful to know. It brings a breath of fresh air in. It makes me feel happy because they are the future generation and, and just wish them everything that they wish for.